Colin out of Patrick Camping Center. Today we have the 2024 260 KVS Titanium Series from Outdoors RV. Outdoors RV known very much for their build quality design. Smaller family run company out of LeGrand, Oregon. We're gonna take a look inside the build quality construction into a fine detail. What sets them apart? What makes them different? I wanna find out for myself, so we'll take a look inside. One thing to note, we are gonna to touch on Swintec sli slides. Swintec slides. Let's take a look at those, see what's changed over the years, the good, the bad, the ugly. Let's dig into this 260 KVS Titanium Series 2024. At 7,850 pounds dry, this is a heavy sucker. It's 3,000 pounds net carrying capacity. That means you've got a ton of space to increase the amount of stuff you can bring along with you for those longer trips. A normal travel trailer is gonna be 1,000 to maybe 1,500 pounds carrying capacity. So at 3,000 pounds, you are getting a ton more than you would normally get. That speaks to the build quality and construction of these trailers. They are gonna be heavy. They're gonna be built well. Let's take a look at how they're built starting from the ground up. Right off the bat, we're starting out with the chassis. The chassis is made in house. This is unlike probably 90% of other trailer manufacturers where they're buying 10,000 chassis from a certain company and they're trying to organize the layout on top of that chassis. It makes for an unbalanced ride. With Outdoors RV, they build them in-house to spec. So where the bathroom is placed, where the kitchen is placed, where those tanks are arranged, when you have those full, where you have those weights in different areas around the trailer, makes a big difference. So when you have the chassis built in-house, they're building it to ride correctly going down the road. And they have the supports in the correct areas and it's going to travel a lot nicer. New for 2024, they are lowering the hitch height, which used to be downing height you'd have to get an eight inch rise on your truck now they're dropping it about five inches by underslinging their hitch on the front here and speaking of strength this is not just a c channel but a full tube 360 degrees and that is 360 degrees welded where you see some chassis they won't weld underneath they won't weld to the sides but this is welded all the way around we're really getting up close and personal here. This is underneath by the axles, <clears throat> supported by an Alltrack 4000 suspension system. This I-beam that is about an eight inch I-beam going through the entire chassis. One of the biggest things, and what you'll see on every outdoors RV, but not every Northwood trailer, is that every point of contact, every point of tension in the trailer, so on the shackle, on each side of the suspension, you have a piece of angle iron welded in between that I-beam to help support it from any bending, cracking, twisting, just to give you that much more support on your chassis. Now, if, since we're underneath the slide right here, a couple other things to point out that Outdoors RV does that other trailer companies don't. One, this slide, there's a squeegee. There's, a, there's an actual squeegee on the bottom of your slide mechanism. A lot of trailer companies will neglect to put a squeegee on the bottom. You can get stuff kicked up in there. You don't want it being pulled back into your trailer, creating problems for yourself. If we flip around 360 degrees, on the outside here, they actually frame out to the bottom. This is aluminum paneling, and this is your aluminum frame framed out to the bottom, so you have a lot of structural integrity even on uh, your siding on your uh, travel trailer. As you'll see this beam out here, this pole, this does just carry the wire so it's not dangling down. It is sturdy, it's nice to have that moving in and out. But you will see, this is not a rack and pinion, this is a Schwintech. Let's take a look. There's usually about three different types of slide mechanisms. You've got your cable driven, you've got your rack and pinion, and you have your Schwintech or your worm drive. The easiest way and 
the way that I usually remember it is calling a worm drive because that little drive or that little um, piece right here looks like a worm going all the way through. Now, a lot of people have had some issues or they've read online that that isn't really working out too well. I will say that the Schwintech did switch to a plastic gearing inside of their motors for a couple years. It may have been supply chain issues, it may have been cost cutting, but the complaints were enough that they did switch back to metal gears. And since then we've seen a lot less issues with those. So a lot more sturdy than what they were. Um, they're kind of having to regain that reputation back, um, but so far so good once they've switched to those, uh, those metal um, gears. So let's talk wall construction. We're talking about two inch thick closed cell insulation and a aluminum framing throughout, except for the roof. The roof is going to be trussed. It is going to be uh, a thicker um, roofing. You're looking at about eight inch difference between the ceiling and the roof material. That is all filled with insulation that is made of wood. Why is it made of wood? Why is the roofing material or roofing uh, trusses made of wood? When you're running ducting of AC throughout the roof, you're actually creating condensation up against a cold metal. So if aluminum is up there, you're creating condensation on that metal. If you have wood, you're not creating any of that condensation. But back to the walls, these are fully bonded walls. If you go to the back on a lot of travel trailers and you bang on the back of that, it's gonna flex. That's a hung fiberglass wall. This is a bonded fiberglass wall. It's gonna be solid throughout. It's gonna feel nice. It's gonna ride well, and it won't sag like you see some of those hung walls. One of the biggest things that makes Outdoors RV stand apart is every single hatch is insulated. You can't have a cooler, you can't have something that's insulated and cut a big hole in it, especially for an outdoor shower. That's a tall tale sign. Even on Arctic Fox, even on Nash, these doors are pieces of plastic. They're small, they're thin. If you have water in these pipes, in these shower pipes, it's gonna freeze. On an Outdoors RV, you still have an inch thick insulation on the shower door keeping it all insulated, all encapsulated, so you don't have to worry about that. We're going underneath here, and this is all corrugated plastic underneath. It's gonna be actually mounted a lot better than I've seen in other travel trailers. Um, you don't have any sort of levers, anything that's gonna be exposed. Even this, the gate valves are way tucked up underneath. If I took up here, this is your gray, this is your black. You have another gray tank up forward or sorry, to the rear, um, they're all encapsulated in there. So you don't have any standing water outside of your trailer whatsoever. If you hear Four Seasons, go look around. There's no standard in the industry for Four Seasons. One of the tall tale signs is, look at those dump valves. Are they tucked up inside? Are they insulated? That's a good sign that that trailer is gonna be well insulated. Taking a look at some of the smaller things on an outdoors RV, one thing to note is they protect your awnings for you. This is an aluminum piece that wraps around your awning once it's fully rolled up. This protects it from UV degradation, getting anything growing on it. It really helps keep your awning intact while you're storing your trailer. Not to mention if you're going down some tight roads, uh, you're going into BLM land, bushwhacking, it helps from getting caught on anything, uh, tree branches coming over that's gonna tear up your awning. I've talked about this quite a bit on this channel, but Outdoors RV, one of the things I love about them is their nose caps. This is fully fiber or fully molded fiberglass, wraps all the way around. You don't have that leading seam going down the road, that sleet, snow, hail pushing into that seam. You do have uh, nothing here that things can get into. This is basically rhino line down here, getting rocks and everything smashed into it. It's gonna hold up really well. And your seam is on the side the rain's not coming from the side, it's coming from the front. You wanna protect that really well. The 260 KVS is a titanium series. That means it's got a lot of different things added to it over the mountain series. You can think of mountain and titanium as two different trim levels. The mountain series is their basic trim level. All the production is the same, all the insulation is the same, but what we're really looking at are bells and whistles, things that make that camping experience a little bit nicer. On the titanium model, you're getting things like the frameless windows, you're getting auto leveling system, you're getting backup camera, slide topper awnings, you're getting a high sheen outside exterior, 
which helps with uh, any degradation going down the road. Just to name a few. Let's take a look inside. This is going to be a 260 KVS, so it's a large kitchen. Uh, if you are a chef, you're going to like this one. It's a big open kitchen space, lots of prep space on here, ton of room up here. This is going to be your trash can portal. You put your trash down there. You can see the latch it opens up outside. You don't have to deal with carrying it through your camper. You've got plenty of uh, spot to put it outside. I always like to joke, if you want to see the wildlife outside, throw some feed out there. You got deer right at your window. Up here, you have some storage. Could be spices, could be little potted plants. If you want to be kitschy, make it feel like home. You do have your three burner stove. Little oven down here. This is a suburban, so you are getting a lot more room in there. Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you very much. You do have a uh, microwave. Big complaint about the microwave is it is lower down. So I would have to squat pretty far just to be able to even see what's going on in there. Underneath, big, deep cavernous storage. Um, you got bigger pots and pans there. Underneath, these are locking. You push in, if it's in, it's locked. Push out, it's unlocked. It comes out fairly far. Again, to the quality of Outdoors RV, these are true wood, all wood throughout cabinetry. You do have it slotted into the sides, so you're not pushing out the bottom if you drop something heavy in there. And it is going to be 100 pound slides rated on either side for a total of 200 versus 75, which is the industry standard. So you do have heavier hinges or heavier slides throughout. Right here, you do have your Max Air Fan remote. The Max Air Fan is an upgrade for these travel trailers. That's gonna be up front. It will be in the bathroom and it will be up in the bedroom. Taking a look around for some more storage. Easy access to plumbing. You can see your 10 gallon hot water heater back there. Nice, easy access to that plumbing. Little bit small on the entry to those doors, but still usable, maybe not for dishes. This is gonna be all of your silverware. Already comes with your silverware separator everything down the line, getting deeper as we go. Up here, this is an upgraded sink for the Titanium Series. We do have a big basin sink here, giving you lots of room to work. If you're cooking for the whole family, if you're cooking for the whole campsite, or you just like making those delectable meals, this kitchen is going to be fabulous. Like I said, a little toned down on the actual storage space, but the prep, the work, the actual effort that you're putting into it, you've got space to do it right there. Over here, we do have the Furion 12 volt fridge. That is going to be a deeper fridge. So what you lack in storage in the cabinetry, you may be able to make up by refrigerating some items that you wouldn't normally refrigerate or freeze. One of the bigger dinettes in the industry Overall, you're looking at almost six and a half feet from back to back. You can easily sleep a good sized adult in there. Again, the frameless windows, these are not gonna slide open. This is an emergency exit. They will push open to give you some ventilation. The benefit of these, um, you can have them open in a downpour and it will keep it nice and dry while getting that ventilation. Blackout curtains all around. That is now standard on all outdoors RVs, as well as these little clips to hold it in place. The wood balances are upgraded for the titanium series. On the flip side, because this is an opposing slide, it does not feel like you're in a tube. You are out in a home on wheels. The sock ducting in the floor. This is ducted heating all the way throughout. Why is ducted heating a good thing? Well, for one, if heat rises, you want it coming from the lowest point in your trailer. If you have heating coming out of the cabinetry, you know, up here, even six inches high, your feet are freezing. It's not blowing down. The heat is going to go out and go up. Another reason why the ducted heating is nice is because it does go by and actually blows directly onto your tanks underneath, keeping it insulated and heated, physically heated, not just by association, having tubes running down below 
um, by your tanks, but it actually blows directly onto them. So when you're in colder weather, that's gonna do a massive, massive help for you um, keeping those tanks from freezing. One of the big complaints we hear is one, placement, it's hit or miss, but also if you've got dogs, putting a nice grate over that, trying to keep the hair out of there so when you turn it on, it doesn't go <laughs> All right, one of the more odd layouts of this design, the 260 KVS, is gonna be where their pantry is located. We have the kitchen way over there and the pantry's way back here. If you wanna grab your rice, beans, I don't know, canned chicken noodle soup, someone's not feeling too well, you're walking all the way to the back of the trailer to grab any of those items separated in here. It has a lot of storage, it's just moved further back from the kitchen. So if you're gonna use it for the kitchen space, it's gonna be a long walk for you to get that food. This is coming into a split bath here. This is a nice hard countertop that comes with the titanium series. You have an upgraded faucet as well as a vanity mirror in the titanium series. Nice medicine cabinet, be able to fit anything of your toiletries in there. As well as below, you have a deeper cabinetry around that plumbing down there to be able to utilize for storage. You have your air intake for your heater there, as well as your water valve line drain underneath this panel and some storage there as well. Now, if you listen to this, some of you might be excited. That is a porcelain toilet. It's gonna give you a square shower show you what that looks like. All right, so if I step into here, it is gonna be a larger shower. My head does stick up into this dome. I am 6'5", so getting a lot of this head height, especially with that added dome in there, I do have some space to wash my hair. My arms might bump up against some stuff, but I do have a little bit of room to move. A lot better than I've seen in some other travel trailers. All right, moving into the master bedroom. This is a full queen size bed. It is an upgrade for the Titanium Series with a gel-topped mattress, extremely comfortable. A lot of RV companies do not like to invest in mattresses. Outdoors RV is not one of those companies. They've invested heavily in a very comfortable mattress. I've seen people backpedal completely on swapping this out with something else. This is the third and final slide over here. It is your wardrobe, nice deep wardrobe. You're going in about two and a half feet into there. You do have the hooks up top if you want to hang any of your dresses, suits, shirts, want to be looking nice. It is a very nice trailer. Now, you do have your larger hanging locker here. This is one thing that I might have a complaint about is when cabinets open into other cabinets, you are hitting that on the side of there, on the trim. And overhead storage, nice for 2024. Every trailer has 400 watt solar standard, but they've moved the solar controller. It used to be right here. It used to blink, it used to beep, and that's right above your head. You don't want that while you're sleeping. You don't want that while you're just hanging out in here. Again, solid countertops throughout. You have a max air fan <clears throat> that is in the bedroom. You have a nice skylight over there, making it a bit brighter, even though the cabinetry is a little bit darker in here. Finally, you have your nice smaller TV in the bedroom. If you want to have your own time in here, just laying back, watching a movie, you've got that option. Again, 2024, it's nighttime. You've got the blackouts for your door as well.